Look, the man got his hands on literally grabbing a booty cheek. Literally grabbing a booty. What are you doing? Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy. Go by too bad. Alright, y'all, we back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, today we have a crazy video. We've seen cops abusing their power when it comes to like arresting people, pulling people over, doing all this foo foo doo doo, you know what I'm saying? But this is a little bit different. This cop gets caught on camera abusing his power. I'm gonna say it's abuse of power because he over here touching on girls, you know what I'm saying? These girls are drunk at the club or leaving the club or whatever. He's touching on them. Like, literally, the video, his hand is on. I haven't seen the video. I'm just looking at the thumbnail. But on the thumbnail, his hand is on a little titty, on a little booty. That's not okay. You know what I'm saying? He's on the job, first of all. Second of all, he's probably ugly, so they definitely don't want him doing that. But he's doing that, and they can't. They, they feel like they can't do nothing because he's a cop. You know what I'm saying? Just craziness. Um, third of all, I don't got a third of all, but I feel like you, all, you always got to say third of all or your points don't matter. But anyways, we're going to hop right into the video. If you're excited, smash the like button. Make sure y'all cop yourself a Jurag. You can buy two of the therm free or you can bundle up, say, sub $50. We got the best Jurags in the game. We ain't going to have no fluff, though. We're going to hop right into this, though. This is the whole, like, compilation of a bunch of crazy videos. But when we get to that video about the cops, man, we're going to break that jaw down because that's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? But let's go. Couples gone insane. What is going on guys? Shot Clips here once again, and this is going to try some mod clips of the craziest couples I can find. Now let go of my favorite clip will be at the end, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, guys, it is definitely out of line. I actually do really feel bad for this girl. I don't know what kind of prank this is, but basically there is this woman. She goes up to this random girl saying, I I, I cheated with your boyfriend. And this girl actually believes her asking about all these details. And the thing is, the joke doesn't stop. It keeps going for quite some time. And I'm like, yo, when are you guys going to pull the plug and tell her it's finally a joke? Even though it's really not but she just doesn't she keeps it going and persistent and she doesn't feel bad for the woman at all check out this clip been sleeping with your boyfriend i've been kind of waiting to see you around except now that i see you it's kind of i don't know i feel kind of bad wait who are you uh my name's andrea i don't know he's pretty like secretive about it <laughs> um andrew are you talking about andrew yeah how, for how long i don't know a couple weeks maybe um. This is sweet girl, bro. Don't be doing this to this girl, bro. This, this social media experience experiment sucks. They all are being so mean. This little girl, she's just so sweet and so nice. And she's nervous now, biting her nails and all that, man. Don't do this to this girl, bro. Sorry, I, don't, I just kind of wanted to let you know. Uh, thanks. For, yeah. Um. Do you want to stop talking? Uh, sure. Sit down. What you want to sit down for her, for her for? Did he tell you I was no. I was just walking, going to meet some friends, and I saw you. So. Um. Wait. Tell me. Just tell me. Like how? What's the the story? And this next one, this relationship is absolutely. I'm what? I feel bad. Why does she want to know so much? Why the heck does she want to know so much? Like, why is she asking all these questions? You better just go with your man's and know he a cheater and never talk to her again, him again. That would be bad, actually, because it's a joke, ain't it? Ain't it a joke? He, she ain't actually sleep with it? I don't freaking know. Really toxic. And this is really how you know someone is taking advantage of you. They will act like this right away in person, but afterwards, they will act like a completely different human being. Check out this clip. I love you so much. Well, you want to be with everybody else, too? I don't want to be with anybody. Then what's up with it? I just feel what are you doing? What the fuck? Are you scared or what? No, I'm not scared. Like, what the fuck? I just... Andrea, I just feel like I could use women. I just don't know why I do it. What? What? And this next one, I really decided to add it in. Basically, there are. The I don't even understand that one two people i guess this uber driver didn't want to take the ride and these people absolutely had a huge fit about it and when he asked them to leave they wouldn't leave so he decides to call the cops like a correct thing to do but check out the women's reactions i was absolutely baffled why they just didn't leave hi don't uh, fucking cancel on us you weren't in our location jesus christ uh just we're ran. here i uh i canceled on you guys already so if you want to Both try to move us or no um, I just canceled the trip. I'll figure it out because we're both pulling. So, what? Well, you're you weren't at the 
Right. Did that girl just say figure it out? <laughs> you can figure out how to have to get home, brokey. What? Use your use your legs, brokey. What you getting in my car, brokey? Like get out, get out of my car. Figure it out, figure out your own life. Figure out why you broke. Like come on now. At the pickup spot, underground's back there, and you didn't wait a minute. Before you Tell you what, get the f out of my car. There you go. He got some cojones now. He got some balls now. That's what we like to see. Huh? Yeah, talk to him. Both? No, I am dead serious. Get the f out. Oh, I don't think so. Nope. Call your Uber people. Call them up. Call 911. Call them up. I have time. So I have you, all you're day. On, you're on. Can you please just take a phone? Hi, I've, uh, I'm an Uber driver. She is refusing to get out of my car. If you want to go somewhere else, you can. I have time. So do I. Why? What is wrong? We're absolutely fine. The blondie don't want to do it. The blondie trying to chill. Uh, uh, we should get out the car, you know what I'm saying? But the girl with the choker on, it's always the little girls with the chokers on. The girls, if you see a girl with a choker on, she... It's a bunch of things about girls with, with, that wear chokers, but we're not going to talk about it today. That's a whole different topic for a whole other video. But she about it. She want to just waste time and do stupidness. Hey, we're just trying to get home. That's all. We're both yeah. together. We were here. About Have you f***ing looked back there? In this next one, we definitely have a crazy... What did he say? Together. We were here. Have you f***ing looked back there? In this next one, we definitely have a... I don't even know what he said, so that just pissed me off because I don't know what he said. A crazy ex for sure basically this guy apparently was dating this woman for like a year he broke up with her like six months ago and she still would not leave him alone to the point where she would literally stalk his house stay outside for like an hour and wouldn't let him leave until he goes to work just hear this banging i would have probably called the cops way sooner toxic x part one we dated for a year and never lived together i don't know what she wants Then after that didn't work out, I guess she decided to stay outside his house still until he had to go to work. And this is where he had to confront her and just pretty much tell her that she's weird as hell. And that he's willing to call the cops and put restrictions on her. Toxic X part 9. Going to work. She was waiting outside for over an hour. She don't have a job. She doesn't have any hobbies. She don't want to go play Call of Duty or something. She just wants to stay outside and be a creepy stalker. I know her phone go die soon too. So I like what 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 are you doing, lady? Where's that part? Over here. You don't remember? No. Over here. She shows up at six in the morning to come stalk this man every day. She's working a job. She's working a job. She, she is a professional stalker. And this next one also just had to add it in. I'm not sure what I would do. Well, I see in this video this crazy old lady that was beating on kids and all that, man. If you don't, she look like Caitlyn Jenner. Get out of my face. This was my kid, but the fact that this teacher was being so unresponsive and just giving me different answers would absolutely force me to take my kid out of this school. Basically, I believe that Chiana teaches kid about the LGBT, and then I guess his father wasn't okay with it. When he asks questions about who's responsible for this, the teacher doesn't give him any answers, and that's why I really got mad because obviously, if you're willing to put your kid into school, you deserve to know what he's learning. But check out this clip, and you'll see why this clip pissed me off so much. She called me and told me that she had an issue up here about my grandson being in a dress. I mean, I'm trying to see what the issue is about that. Okay. You don't have to talk to Kara. No, it wasn't that she was being, she was putting the little boy in a dress. I'll put you in the grave. Stop playing with me, bro. Who's there? She's down in the other classroom. Is she, the, is she the one that was in charge of the kids while my grandson? I was, but I can't talk to you. Why? Because you're not on the form. So we'll have to get Dara up here and see if she will let you. I mean, talk to you about it. I mean, first of all, I'm coming down here because we don't do that. The the the, uh, the transgender and all that we you know we don't do that. I understand. I don't need and, to. And I, I don't appreciate you encouraging him to put on no dress. 
for the second day too. I don't appreciate that. Two days, like get up, man! man oh, you can't. She is in a preschool or kindergarten or something. These are little kids, and you are putting a dude in a dress. Like I said, the grave is where I will put you, lady. Stop playing with me. And don't think this is going away. I'm going further with this. Okay, you can go down and talk. No, to I'm the not done talking to you. I'm letting you know the next time that you put any kid in a dress, we're going to make you go viral. Okay. You need to go talk to my director. Because I, as a teacher, don't no, want to talk to you. No, I'm letting you know I got an issue with you about that. I'm not playing with you. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Yeah, I'm sorry that you feel that way. But you should have called me before you made the decision to put my grandson in a dress. Okay, you can speak to the No, I'm speaking to you. Please do not talk to me in that tone with my children. Around. I wouldn't be up here. Don't talk to me in that tone. What, what? What? If you wouldn't put my grandson in no dress. Again. Well, do what you gotta do. Up. And this next one is definitely one of the worst clips on the list. I'm not sure how much you have to hate someone. Basically, there is this guy. His ex-girlfriend died. Like, she's already dead. Apparently, he goes to her, her gravestone, her burial, and he just pisses on it, like, every morning. He literally drives there, pees on it, and leaves. I'm not sure. <laughs> Bro, ain't no, bruh, ain't no way. There's no way. There is literally no way. There's, there's no way. What this woman did to him, but this is absolutely foul, and I'm surprised someone caught this on video camera. I think the neighbors did across the street. Now, after doing some digging, I actually realized that this man was recording himself. I don't know why it took me a long time to realize that. And he decides to post it on the internet. And I guess after that, the police finally caught him and charged him. This girl must have really broken his heart or something. What do you charge him with? Is that an offense? Peeing on a grave? What, 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 what offense is that, sir? I'm not sure. That is wild. That is a wild man right there. Every morning is crazy. Every morning is crazy. In this next one, there is this, I guess, police see, officer. This is I'm where it goes. You see that? You see the opening clip. Look at this popo. Did you see the opening? Look at what his hand was at. Look where his hand was at. In this next. Look, the man got his hands on literally grabbing a booty cheek. Literally grabbing a booty. What are you doing? This one there is this, I guess, police officer. I'm not sure if he's on duty or if he's having fun, but regardless, he's basically in uniform and he's, I, I guess, caressing these women. No, I'm not sure if that's his woman. Uh, probably not. If this is a security guard, he should, if he's actually on duty, this is 100%, you know, illegal. And he could definitely lose his job for it. So I'm glad someone did record the entire thing. <laughs> Look at his hand again. Look at his hand again. Move out the way. Get it. Get the heck out the way. Get the heck out the way. What is he in the way for? What is he in the way for? And there's more to that video because on the thumbnail, I, I wish I could show you the thumbnail, but the thumbnail, his hand is like up on the, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, not all the way up there, but it's like, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? So there's more to that video. I don't know what the heck the rest of the video at clip on the list guys though basically there was this husband i guess he told his wife she can keep the house after having a divorce just to go back to it the next morning and Literally absolutely destroy saw. it while she was at work check out this clip this is funny or what or not but my neighbors over here are getting a divorce we just seen his job she told him last night that he or he told her last night that she could have the house and everything in it well, this morning he goes and rents some heavy equipment, and him and his best friend has been over here today while she's been at work. And uh, she hasn't got home yet. Uh, she has no idea. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. I want to see the reaction of when the, mom, the, the wife comes home and sees that. Like, what did she go? Well, I guess she's not coming home. She's coming. To some dirt, I guess, because ain't nothing there for her. But 
Anyways, man, that's the end of the video, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Somebody finds me that the full version of that cop that's, that's wilding out on these girls, you know what I'm saying? There's a bunch of videos out there actually these cops doing this at, like, clubs and at gas stations and all that. Cop, that's freaking disgusting. That is freaking disgusting. Cops, uh, it don't even got to be cops. It could be regular people. What, what are you cresting up on? Especially drunk girls. Drunk girls, they, they don't got, they don't, they not... They mind ain't in it. You know what I'm saying? They mind ain't in it. You taking advantage of that. You're a weirdo on the loser. And you're sort of go to jail. You know what I'm saying? But that's the end of the video. If y'all enjoyed it, make sure you smash the freaking like button. You know what I'm saying? If you want another video that's going to make you laugh, click that thing right there. And that's really about it, man. I'm going to see y'all.